Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dhingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome guys, welcome to the another episode of ACCA Talk Series. Today we are going to be talking about Kaplan Books for ACCA. Yes, my friend, Fintram being the official partner with Kaplan, we are not only providing you big time discounts on the Kaplan product, of course you can go and check out our website, but we are also intending to share with you how Kaplan has been helping students around the world, how Kaplan supports students in their ACCA journey. And for that, I have today an esteemed guest, Tanya Worsley with us. Tanya herself is a qualified chartered accountant. She's also a tutor for ACCA and she's working as head of international market with Kaplan. And when we reached out to her to really be here and talk to our students, she was extremely happy sharing her journey. We have her today. We'll understand from her in terms of you know, what Kaplan has been doing and how Kaplan has been helping the students around the world. And of course, it would help us in terms of deciding that which book to refer for ACCA. Should we go and check it out with Tanya? Yes, sir. But before we really go in there, subscribe to our channel, Fintram Global, and press the bell icon, my friend, for keep getting these, these informative videos and regular updates. Should we go and meet up Tanya now? Yes, sir. All righty. Wait, wait. This video is a special video and we have a big time giveaway coming up from the Kaplan and the Fintram. Do watch this video till the end to know about the contest and participate in it. Remember, you can be winner. Watch this. Hi, Tanya. Welcome. Welcome and many thanks for joining us and taking out time from your busy schedule for the student fraternity at large. Many thanks for that. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So Tanya, just to uh, give you a perspective, you know, I've already given brief about yourself in terms of your introduction, but the ideal starting point would be just to have your introduction from yourself in terms of, you know, what you're doing and what are, what is that that is keeping you busy at this point in time? <laughs> okay, no problem. So yeah, as I'm sure you already know, my name's Tanya. Um, I am a qualified chartered accountant and I joined Kaplan back in 2003. I don't know where that time has gone. It's just been such a, a whirlwind, but all good. I'm being based in the Manchester office. I've been a tutor of management accounting, financial management, business strategy. And I've had lots of roles at Kaplan over the years, including being involved in setting up our live online virtual classroom. But I now head up our international markets team for both Kaplan Financial and Kaplan Publishing, which means that I work uh, with uh, people all over the world, which is fantastic. And I work to ensure that students all over the world have access to Kaplan resources and courses, and also that our partners like you at Fintram have access to the best quality resources to help deliver your classes. Oh, yes. And, you know, I'm glad, you know, it, it's, it's really gives you uh, all the more a kicker when a chartered accountant, a qualified chartered accountant is heading a position wherein he's not <laughs> only uh, doing the tutor as in, you know, the tutorship, but a, on the parallel, you're effectively managing, you know, a big chunk of the publishing piece uh, and both online and, and, and the paper based. But managing that is certainly a different level of experience. So, you know, glad to meet you and glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think this is one of the things that is important to stress that having a professional qualification can open a lot of doors and send you in many different directions. So when I qualified as an accountant, um, I didn't think I'd ever be in this position now, but it takes you in in many different directions. So it's definitely worth the adventure. Couldn't agree more, couldn't agree more. <laughs> you know, coming, coming from the corporate world, you know, I can completely correlate to that and certainly any professional qualification and to the students, this is really important that, you know, when we are doing and of course, going through the courses, we always think in a very, uh, I would say micro manner that, you know, after doing this, we may can and we can only, of course, get into this field, but that's not the case. If you have a professional qualification, that really opens up the world of opportunities and then it is upon you how you choose it, what you want to do and how you get in over there. Absolutely. 
Yes. So, uh, Tanya, the right starting point would be that, uh, and again, I'm just trying to look back into your career. You know, what made you, after you know, doing your chartered accountancy, and of course, doing you know what you were doing at that point in time, what really made you come to to this side of the table, as in the tutorship, as in you know being the tutor, and of course, getting on to Kaplan and doing what you're doing right now. And that, that sounds very interesting as well as very different too. So many of the kids might be interesting in, you know, interested in knowing in terms of you know, how did you really land up up there? Sure. Well, for me, I think education had always been um, something that I was really interested in. I loved being at school. I loved being at university. I loved studying. So as much as I enjoyed being an accountant, I really wanted to combine those two things. So the move into the education sector uh, seemed like a natural move for me. And it also meant that I could use my kind of business acumen as well, because I was involved in, um, you know, budgets, uh, running a department, heading up a team. So a lot of what I'd learned as an accountant was very much transferable into my new role, but it also meant I could combine it with education and with developing other people's careers, which is really important to me. Which is very right. And, you know, this is again something, you know, uh, which comes from your within, right? You know, you can, of course, be a, a, you know, a professionally qualified individual, but where there is an intent to really help the fraternity or help the students at large, you know, it really comes from within. And, you know, that, that certainly sound absolutely, absolutely relishing that, you know, you know, we guys as professionals are not only looking forward for us as our professional career, but of course, making so many other professional careers for so many other folks on the ground. So thank you for that. Tanya, you know, I, I just uh, thought, and this is more to uh, give some perspectives to the student um, regarding Kaplan. So there is a big time, uh, I would say, a discussion or a query, that kind of a thing that happens to us as a learning provider and of course to me as an individual, and of course, it might be coming on to you also when you were studying at that point in time that, you know, which book to refer and, you know, what to really look for and this and that. And again, I'm not comparing uh, the books right now at this point in time, but I'm more keen and interested in knowing as to, you know, what all Kaplan really does. You know, people are really interested. You know, they know that, you know, you know for, for the purpose of getting some ACCA books, they can really look forward to Kaplan. But since you're here and, you know, you're coming from a very... Uh, I would say, uh, big time background of, of the organization. So why don't you share in terms of, you know, what Kaplan really offers, the kind of products, the kind of services, and the kind of, I would say, overall support that they provide to the students. I think that would be the right logical point to start with. Okay, sure, no problem. So Kaplan is a huge company. We're an American-owned, diversified education company, and there are lots of different parts to Kaplan all over the world that people might have heard about. We have English language colleges, we have pathway programs, we work with CFA. But personally, I work for Kaplan UK and our focus is on professional education and assessment. So we work with the, the biggest sort of professional accounting institutes in the world in a number of different ways, as well as, like you said, publishing the official textbooks for both ACCA and SEMA. We also deliver classes that some students attend either face-to-face -face here in the UK and the Middle East or virtually online. And we provide lots of digital resources as well for our partners to supplement their own face-to-face -face classes. So there's lots of different ways that we work with other colleges, with students, making sure that everyone has the flexibility and the opportunity to learn wherever they are in the world at um, you know, a really high quality standard. We, as well as writing content, we write lots of tests, we write assessments, and any student that uses our material, they can scratch off the little panel in the front of the books and access our My Kaplan portal. And they'll find there lots of knowledge checks, little quizzes to do, question debriefs, so recordings of tutors going through those questions, and also an assessment to see how well that they're progressing through the content for their particular subject. 
So what we really try to focus on as a team here at Catplan is making our material accessible and hopefully easy to use and very much exam focused because we know that all of our students have only a limited period of time. They might be working, they might have full-time jobs, they have families, they have friends that they need to, to look after. And what they need is to be able to pass these exams in as an efficient way as possible. So we try to really make our materials and our content exam focused so that the students can pick it up, get working quickly, assess themselves, and move through their qualification in the minimum possible time. Hopefully that gives you a, a bit of a flavor for what we do here. Oh, very much. And of course, you know, that's, that's really an eye opener too, because if, you know, if for, for a guy who is looking forward for, uh, you know, let's say a coaching or a, or a, uh, or a classes, he only knows Kaplan by the book. You know, we only know that, you know, there is a book that you can get from Kaplan which can help you clear the exam and that's it. We are really not aware that Kaplan is there to offer so many other things, which just which is just you mentioned, whether it is online classes, whether it is your digital extra products and so on and so forth, which is certainly not that, not that I would say, at least, you know, to an extent I can tell you where, you know, considering that I've, speak, I've spoken to so many folks, I'm sure that they're not aware of. So knowing this and of course, having this from you really, really helps in terms of knowing that. But one thing that you mentioned, Tanya, which actually uh, is, is very interesting, that you said that, you know, Kaplan is very exam focused in terms of, you know, thinking through that what students would need from the examination standpoint. And of course, giving them in that piece and format or in that manner or to an extent having the holistic coverage of what they would exactly need. I think that's really, that's really a piece which every student needs to understand that you know, they certainly get an edge if they have something like this with them uh, for the purpose of preparation, because if, if it really comes from the experts of the examinations in terms of, you know, that this is what you really need and this is what examiner really expects, that really helps in terms of, you know, really building on the blocks and really walking up the street and saying that, you know, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready for the exam, which is something, something really there. But to, to extend that, you know, how, how do you guys do that? You know, it's, it's more like, how is that happening at the Kaplan's end? And how are you keeping yourself updated or revised in terms of the change in the content or the curriculum or the syllabus that is continuously happening? So how do you do that? Sure. Well, our content does get revised on a, a regular basis. Um, so in line with any syllabus updates from ACCA, but also on an ongoing basis, if anything is changing or needs updating. And our content team work very closely with ACCA because our material is approved by ACCA. We work with their faculty to make sure that the textbooks cover what is required from each of those syllabus areas. We also try to make sure that, you know, the syllabus content is um, generated with some real world experience. So really kind of relaying it back to how does this get tested, but also how do we see this occurring in the real world? How will you spot this when it comes into your job? And like I say, a lot of that comes from the fact that our, our tutor team, our content team, their background is as qualified accountants with that real world experience um, and we have lots of fresh people coming in as well so people that are, are newly qualified coming in and bringing their most recent experience into um, our content and into our classes as tutors we all get um, trained with uh, with tutor training with presentation and we also do courses such as uh, effective teaching and learning how we use technology in the classroom so all of that really gets um, distilled into the content that we write in our books. And as I say, really have to make sure that that content keeps up to date and, uh, and is continually fresh. Which is, uh, you know, which is really, you know, something to be appreciated because that is something even I personally feel and, and I can tell you, you know, after being the tutor, of, you know, over here in terms of, you know, going through various subjects, I also feel the same in terms of the content when, I mean, I read Kaplan in terms of, uh, of course, having my understanding onto the concepts and again, taking that to the students, it's, it's really helpful in terms of having and setting the right perspective. 
So I, I completely agree with you on that. One thing, uh, uh, Tanya, I think that would again be more relevant from the student standpoint would be uh, is that when you revise these uh, syllabus areas or the contents, you know, in terms of any new area that has come up, uh, of course, ACCA would give you the guidelines in terms of, you know, that this is the new edition and this is what you really need to do. Uh, and of course, you, you have the uh, right, uh, I would say, tutors and right mentors who are really taking that and, of course, researching on that and, and, and of course, including that in the, in the content. Once that content gets included into, into, into the book, does that again goes for a sign off with ACCA that yes, this is this is absolutely fine. So how does this work? As in, they give you the broad areas that that is to be added. You guys add it, and then that goes for the approval, and then that gets you know further on for the uh, for the circulation. Does that is is that the way? Yeah, that's that's a bit how it works. Yeah, so uh, we have um, the the syllabus areas given to us by ACCA and the detailed learning outcomes that they require from those. Um, and we write the material, like I said, you know, if we have any new areas, then the tutors, the content team will go off and they will research, they will get their own training. So, for example, if they haven't had experience of that in the past, there are lots of new technology items coming into the material these days. Um, our new professional accountants have to deal with things like data analytics, big data, AI, so our team have to make sure that they're up to date on those, uh, those new areas as well. So they will go and do research. They will uh, attend training courses as necessary so that they can really bring that content up to a, a very high academic standard, but also with, like I said before, that real exam focus for what students need to know. And then, yes, absolutely, when the material is written, it's delivered to ACCA before it gets published so that they uh, can quality assure it and approve it as fit for their examinations. Which is all the more, all the more, I think, you know, what everybody would need to understand that this book that they see on their table, you know, which they really want to go through, goes through so many processes and, of course, the hurdles that they really need to cross in terms of, you know, that being being reaching onto their table that, you know, and, and of course, available for them to study. It really takes a lot of effort on the part of you know the content team and of course the tutors to really collate that and change it and then you know of course uh, bringing that to reality in terms of you know what the student would really need and of course everybody uh, somewhere at some point in time would appreciate when they would go through the content that how helpful it is i can tell you you know my my personal experience it is certainly very helpful so thanks for that no worries another thing i would just add is that we also work with all of our partner colleges across the world who use our content so we very much take in their feedback and the feedback of their students for helping us to, to do revisions and update that content. So if there is something which uh, somebody else would deem more relevant, um, we very much take that on board and, and look at that feedback and see how we can continually improve our material and content. Which is awesome. You know, having, having the, you know, the feedback from the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah. more, like, more like the students who are really appearing for the exam would certainly add a different value and you know really really uh, I think make total sense for that Tanya one thing uh, which I you know again taking a step back if I if I have to ask you and you know maybe I'm sorry for putting you on spot but if I really have to ask you for two uh, big time differential factor that that Kaplan really brings on table to every SEMA ACCA candidate in terms of the content then what would that be? Again, I'm not comparing with anyone, but what would be your two big time selling points, if I may say that, for the lack of a better word, <laughs> that student needs to understand that, you know, these are the two things, you know, which are, which is like out of the, you know, um, uh, blue, which, which one can really rely on Kaplan and this and that. So what would be those two big time things? I think it's the two things that we've really talked about a, a lot already today. I think it's the the exam focused um, areas, I suppose, of the, the, the content, making sure that the students know the, the syllabus areas, but also how they will get tested and how that will be reflected in their real life when they're employed. So I think that's the, the main thing. We try to make things simple for students to understand rather than giving them lots of heavy academic content 
the, the qualifications themselves are designed to be very practical. They are professional examinations. They're getting people ready to become professional qualified accountants, people who can sit in front of clients and run business meetings, people who can deliver the strategy of the business and shape that direction. You know, it's all about that practicality. And we really try to get that through in our material. But we want to deliver a message, show how it can be applied in a question and relate it back to real life. So I'd say that's really the, the best thing about our material. And of course, the people that are writing it, their practical experience comes through, their knowledge as content writers. These aren't just freelance writers who will um, be hired out to, to write content. They're people that have done the job and they're people that use the content themselves in their classes. So they know what works really well. And I'd say that's that really comes across in our content. And I think that's why students like it. I agree. And, you know, as a student also, I can tell you, I completely agree to that because I have seen it myself. And you, you beautifully put it that up, that it is, of course, the, the function of simplicity. Of course, you know, it is more simple. And again, I'm just trying to bucket it out. It is more relatable. You know, you can, of course, relate to that as a content. It, it has more practical applicability. It certainly pushes you. And since this is a more application-based exam, and I keep saying that, like a broken record, the ACCA doesn't want you to ratify things. They actually want you to practically apply things, your knowledge onto the real life scenarios. And this, this, this uh, content that you get in Kaplan really helps you in terms of thinking through on those lines in terms of, you know, yes, this is how it should be. And that really makes you, uh, you know, I would say prepared from the examination standpoint. And the icing on the cake, what just uh, got put in by, by Tanya was that, you know, the tutors that we have, they are not the freelancers. They are professionally qualified faculties who have been behind what you really get to see in this book, which is awesome for one to have because that's what you really need, right? Because if you if you really need a content, you know what better content you can have if you have all you know the combination that we spoke. If you have it, you're there. Absolutely, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, it, it hopefully means that we can assist students they still have to do all of the hard work but hopefully we can make it a little bit easier for them yes Tanya I know we are short of time and you know I am apologize you know in terms of you know running running short on that I really wanted to stay long with you but you know considering that we have the positive over here I think one thing that I really want to ask you as a qualified professional accountant and of course you know in the in the positioning that you have from the um, from the pedigree standpoint in terms of your managing the international market, what is the advice that you have for the students' fraternity at large for their preparation? Again, one advice is for sure from Tanya, and I can tell you that, that take the Kaplan <laughs> book and start studying that. That's there. Other <laughs> than that, we know, what would be your advice to the student as a professional, as a mentor, that you know what they should be thinking, what they should be doing? I think that is something that they really need to know. Sure. I think there are three things that I would really emphasize. First of all, the qualifications are not designed to be easy. Otherwise, everybody would have them. And they do require a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of self-motivation. And you might have to put your social life on hold and not see your friends and family maybe as much as you would like to. But if you do have that self-discipline, and stay motivated, it is worth it. Because when you qualify, you will have a globally recognized qualification that will open doors for you into a great career. So my first bit of advice is stick with it, even when it's a bit difficult. Secondly, I would say, ask questions. You know, have that challenging mindset. So if you don't know something, speak to your tutor or your lecturer contact your friends and study with them and ask each other questions and really make sure that you know you you really focus on your weaker areas and if you don't understand something you ask there is no problem with asking questions it's the best way of learning and then thirdly when you're studying the best advice i can give you is to do plenty of practice assessments it really is the best way to 
progress and to see if you've understood the content and really get you ready for the exam. So no kind of writing lots of notes and making pretty pictures in your notebooks. Once you've gone through the content, the best thing you can do is practice past exam questions. You might not be able to do them all correctly. And remember, you don't have to get 100% to pass. So think about what the pass mark is. You have to get 50% correct. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get everything perfect, but do practice those questions um, because it is the best way to get ready for the exam. So three bits of advice. It's not easy, but stick with it. Ask plenty of questions and practice plenty of questions. And I couldn't agree more. You know, see, that's the advice, you know, what you would get from a person, from a personality, who is a tutor, who is a qualified accountant, who is into sales, who is into, into publishing, <laughs> you know, there are so many hats that she wears. So that's what you get, uh, you know, once you, once you really uh, have gone through the cycles and have seen that. And one thing I couldn't agree more with you, Tanya, is that practicing the questions, practicing the past examination questions is the most important thing. And I can tell you with all experiences that I've had with the students, students think at times that to be unnecessary burden and that's <laughs> where they go wrong. They see that, you know, syllabus is done. We know it, we have seen it, we'll solve it. That's not going to happen. You have to practice it. And, and I can tell you, Tanya, you know, just for your understanding, Fintram in that direction has been working very hard. We have a product called Video Quotient Marathon of Fintram. Oh, you know, it's a video based exam kit kind of a thing when faculty solves the question, giving you all the tips and tricks that you need from the standpoint of, you know, uh, saying that this is what examiner expects and this is how you should be solving it and so on and so forth. But that's again, you know, that's a video based solution. You practicing by your own hand is the super important thing. And then getting that checked with this, you know, with the faculty is again an icing on a cake because he will tell you that this is an area you're going wrong. And, I, and that's where I said, Tanya, I completely agree with that because that's the changer or a game changer that you would have if you can really implement that. Well, that sounds like a fantastic experience for the students and definitely in line with uh, exactly what we would recommend as well. Yes. So Tanya, the last thing that I have again, you know, uh, I, I know we are you know, running short of time. Anything, any last words for the students, you know, before we really end up, I have a very good news for the student that's coming up in a while, but any last words for the students, Tanya, you have, and then we'll pick it up from there. I would just like to wish all the students listening all the very best in their exams. Um, like I said, you know, it's not an easy, uh, an easy qualification to do, but stick with it and it will be worth it in the end. Absolutely. And thank you very much for that. You know what, students, I have one one big time news for you. And again, this is a very good news because I really wanted to bring that on table. We are now coming up with a contest for you. Like, you know, Tanya said that, you know, that certainly, you know, Kaplan has, has helped so many students. There has been so much of work that has, that, that has been going behind the scenes. And of course, various students have taken benefit. If you are the one who have got the benefit from the Kaplan, you know, as in, you know, the book, as in the, the, any product that you have taken. And of course that has helped you in terms of, you know, clearing your exam, helping you, or you have seen any kind of support, you know, being there from the FinTram. And of course, if you see a combination of a FinTram and a Kaplan in terms of, you know, you have taken FinTram classes, you've taken a Kaplan product, and of course, you know, a, a book that has helped you, any success story that you have over there, do share that with us. I would be providing the details of that within this video as in the description of this video, you would get to know in terms of, you know, how should you be posting, post that as a success story, mark us on that, tag us on that, the, the story that would have maximum likes would be getting a surprise gift from Fintram and Cap. And we'll be, uh, we'll be more than happy to read all those stories in terms of, you know, how have we changed your lives and of course, how have uh, Kaplan be helping you guys in terms of you really changing this and you know bringing the fortune for you and if you have it just write it tag us on that and we'll of course you know the basis the maximum likes and we'll not want to be ranking it you're going to be ranking it basis the maximum likes that you have we'll be certainly coming up and of course gifting you with a surprise gift isn't that amazing? Amazing. 
<laughs> and thanks tanya for taking your time and thanks for really you know uh, for having this being there in your busy schedule but i really really want to thank you for that because i know it's it's really tough at this point in time to take our time but having time for students and and the opportunity at large is very helpful so really appreciate that no thank you so much pankaj for the opportunity it's really great to be able to speak to you and the students today as well likewise thank you very much see you again tanya i'm not going to leave you here we'll be doing many more things together <laughs> absolutely thank you and take care thank you take care